talk to your mom about oh, what, what's going on out of this house. I was drinking beer, watching a ball game. That's all I was doing. You got on cuffs? Yes, I do. You know, people sometimes drink more than, than they should, try to get behind the wheel. It accounts for a lot of our uh, fatality accidents we've had in the city here. Okay, we've got one of our units in pursuit right now. Just trying to get a vehicle stopped just by himself. We're going to see if we can uh, get up here and help him out. Zebra 15, I'm almost with him. Zebra 17, same. Okay, we're coming up behind y'all right now. We're gonna get up there to set up some spikes, spike them. Get ready to deploy some spike strips up here. Uh, we're a few cars back right now. They're getting ready to spike. Got units right here. Zebra 17 clear. Spike's been thrown. We got a pursuit going on. We just threw the spike sticks. We're going to see it and see if he got spiked right now. Pull him out. He just, uh, he hit the spike strips. Um, his tire's going flat. We're about four cars behind the the uh, the vehicle right now. He's hit the spike strips. Uh, he should be stopping any second. We'll try to take him into custody. Get him on the tire. We'll pull him out of the station here. Here we're at Decatur. Stop him for. Well, I was on my way to that call in Meadowbrook, and he, I was at Ward in Meadowbrook. He passed by in front of me. He's probably going about 45, and the speed limit's at 30. So I got him behind him. He's kind of weaving a little bit and uh, changes lanes without using signal. So I go ahead and light him up there at Beach and Scott, and uh, just kind of rolls through. We were a long ways off whenever you called out with it. I'm glad he wasn't going so fast. I know. <laughs> we finally caught up with you, yeah, which was good. I don't know where he, he lives on Rose, which is, I think, is on the east side. I think so. So I don't know where he's trying to get to. He's just driving because he's drunk. He doesn't know where he's going. Northside units did a good job spiking. Y'all want to shackle him up? All right. Yeah. Okay. Give me your legs. Be careful. He's probably going to try to kick you. Give me your legs. Bring him out. Before. Because I said. He's tried to kick me three times now, so. Bring your legs out. You know what I got? Uh, what do you got? 
Don't do anything stupid. I'd say don't do anything stupid. I gave you your chance, didn't I? I'll let go when you kick your leg out. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. I know it does. It's supposed to. I'm not treating you wrong. It's a pressure point. So I'll pull him across it, bro. Pull him across it. When we got the vehicle up on north side, north side units did a good job spiking the uh, deploying their spike system out and uh, getting the vehicle hit on on this side. Blew out both tires. Once the guy felt his tires blew, he knew he'd been spiked. Pulled into this uh, convenience store parking lot. Put up a brief struggle on the side of the vehicle. We're trying to get him out. Uh, officers did a good job. Had to knock the wind out on this side to, in order to help us get the guy out of the vehicle. As a result, you know, all the glasses on the ground, but nobody got hurt. And all in all, it was a good chase. Good ending. We're going to investigate a suspicious auto. Uh, possible drug activity. Our undercover officers are sitting in the vehicle right now. They've requested uh, uniform cars. We're behind the truck in front of them, turning uh, northbound on region. <laughs> 23, did you say they're going to stop there? Right on your right. 7 North 21 traffic stop. 21 traffic stop. 1972 Clanny. <sighs> Copy 1972 Clinic. He's, he's your passenger. You're, you're guys. You Kentucky 072. Yeah. I tell you what, why don't you step out of the vehicle too, sir? What's the problem? Put your hands behind your back for me. 724, he does have 23 with him. Whose car is that? It's my own. Beyonce. Is there anything in there we should know about? No. Okay. You're in possession of the car. If anything's in there, then you know you could get charged with it. It's best to be truthful now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. 565 What's, what's going on anyway? Like a murder case or what? No. <laughs> We're just uh Central Ohio or Kentucky. Investigating something here, all right? Yeah, back of my car. Do you have anything else in your shoes? Yeah. Okay, lift this one up. Lift it up. Yep. Lift this one up. Right. All right, good. Got a seat in the back of my car, right? Yes, sir. You're being detained for an investigation right now, okay? Looks so unlocked. So, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, actually, you're under arrest for a warrant. You have a warrant for your arrest. Okay. I do. A traffic warrant. Okay. Yeah. Right now, I'm searching for uh, any type of contraband. Looks like we got some. Uh, I don't know what this is at this point. Looks like tobacco. I don't know. What was your buddy smoking, man? I smoked some weed. We were smoking weed. Okay. Well, where's the weed? It was, it was gone. It was gone. What were you smoking it out of? Huh? What were you smoking it out of? Smoking out of a can. I didn't have the papers. Okay. How many bags you got? There's uh, one, two, five plastic bags wrapped. I don't know if they're trying to sell tobacco. Why do you have tobacco wrapped in? I told your partner. I told your partner. Uh, Campbell, I was gonna keister. Uh, Go to jail, it's gonna uh, keister him. <laughs> Campbell County's a non smoking jail. So you were gonna do Ke what? Keist, pick him up my. Are you that addicted to cigarettes? That's a non smoking jail, that's all you know. It's uh, it's tobacco. It's tobacco, well, I don't know. The gentleman stated he was gonna. He was gonna go to jail and that he was gonna. Take it inside the jail internally, and you've never you've never taken tobacco in jail like that before. No. What I wasn't even sure I wouldn't what, I wasn't even sure I was gonna get away with it. What you know gave what you mean? the idea to do that? It's just heard of it, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> okay. Right. You know, people if they're going to jail, you know, they got habits and addictions. 
I don't know. I'm it's pretty drastic. It's an addiction, man. <laughs> 24, I'll be signaling two with the driver. 7 or 21, 35. Uh, we're responding to a bank for a subject inside the bank trying to pass a bad check. We got him, we got him. 21, you have traffic. Can't Stop spray. 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 spray! I'm fighting in the bank. I got him on the bank. Spray. Spray. Assistance, copy, stand by. <laughs> I knew that was Watch your hands. Watch your hands, watch your hands. I got it. Watch your hands. <laughs> Quit resisting. I got it. 25, he's in custody outside the bank. There's been a spraying. Copy a spraying. Good job. Get up. I don't think I even hit him. But... You got anything on you shouldn't have, man? Fine. If you have cars responding here, tell them to slow down. He is in custody. That's clear. Correct. We did not complete the ACP. Well, Our cars slow down if Is it? Yeah. He's bleeding too. This little bag is like phone. It's, I can't we tell it's pipe. inside out, but it's phone. Pipe. I just threw a thing next to your shoe, Chad. Yeah, he's got broken glass in his pocket. Back up. Watch your head, man. Put your feet in first, man. Put your foot in first. Watch your head. How many IDs has he got? Three. All right, what happened inside? He tried to pass a bad check, and the bank was actually trying to call the company on the check to confirm that it was bad at the time that uh, he decided he was going to run. Did he just take off running when you guys approached yeah. him? No, no, we talked to him for a brief second, okay. explained to him what we were talking to him for, and at that point in time, so we took off running. So why did you run, sir? I was scared. You were scared? Okay, what's that white powdery substance we got out of your pocket? <laughs> okay, what was that pipe for? You got a habit? Okay. All right, we're gonna take you in the station and get you cleaned up, all right? All right. Was, was he in the front of the bank or was he more towards the back? He was, he was close to the back. Okay. The, uh, we got to pick the back the, door. Yeah, the chemical irritant seemed to take a good effect. Yeah, that's good. And, uh, yeah, I'll get him in, get him cleaned up, and um, we'll take him to jail. Cool. Yeah, I enjoy being a cop here in Santa Ana because it's a bigger agency than where I started out, and it gives me options to do a variety of things that I wouldn't have been able to accomplish in another agency, a smaller agency. I work the area of Santa Ana called South Coast. It's the one of the bigger areas and it's got a good mix of residential areas and industrial and businesses and we have a lot of apartment areas that are condensed and give us some work to do and keeps us busy. We're just gonna check this alley, see if anybody's out hanging around and doing anything. They're not supposed to. It's just an alley where we have a lot of graffiti and, and um, gang members hanging out, so. Let's go talk to him. How you doing? Pretty good. Can I have your, see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? I don't have my driver's license on me. You don't have it on you? Okay, do you have any ID or anything? Nah. Just keep your hands up, it's okay. Oh. Is this your car? No, it's my friend's car. Okay. 345, I'll be out with one in the alley, if I can get a code one. Okay, um, wh where are you coming from? From right here, from Dukes. Okay, you're, you're on parole or probation? No. So your friend let you borrow the car? See. Do you have a driver's license, or you, and you just don't have it with you? Uh, I don't have a driver's license. You don't have one? Okay, that's cool, man. You know what, I'm just gonna check and make sure you don't have any weapons so I can talk to you comfortably. If you don't mind, just step out of the car real quick. Just 
Just do it slowly so I can watch her. Go ahead and step out and just turn away from me when you get out. Just leave it where it is, it's fine. It won't go anywhere. Go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hand behind your back. There you go, interlace your fingers for me. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. There you go. Got a pager too? Yeah. So you got a pager and a phone, huh? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Nothing. You just like to communicate or what? Nah, my girlfriend's always calling me. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's this, man? Foil. Foil? When was the last time you used heroin, dude? This morning? Where do you usually get it at? Friends. Friends? Mm -hmm. You got some generous friends. Do they hook you up or do, do they sell it to you? No, they hook me up. They hook you up? Yeah. So who are you visiting then? A friend of mine. What's your friend's name? Uh, Ralph. Where does Ralph live? Somewhere around at the end. Somewhere around? He's supposed to meet me here. What's in the car, dude? What do you think is in the car? I don't know. Hmm. Away? Yeah, we'll just throw them in the car real quick. So basically, um, right hidden in the seat, looks like we got a little dope. I'm just gonna check into it a little bit, but it's packaged up like dope, obviously. Looks like it's probably heroin. It kind of smells like it. So there's about 17 bindles in here. He's selling it by the amount and the packaging, and then he's got all his money, uh, not in any particular order, but just in his pocket. So it looks like he's probably selling dope. So we'll have to talk to him a little bit about that. Listen, those pages that are going off on my roof, making all that noise, we're gonna use my cell phone, we're gonna call them back. You think any of those people are gonna say, hey, drop it off here? I guess not. All right, well, we'll check. We got the phone, we'll call, we can. We can use his phone. Well, that's okay. Call him up, tell him you're his girlfriend and you wanna know uh, where he'd like. They you know I don't have a girlfriend. You think gonna trick him? Well, you just got one. <laughs> Who's they anyways? What do they call you, dude? What do they call me? Yeah, what's up? This is Mario's girlfriend. He's calling Mario right now. You called, you paged him. Is he helping you sell or who's he selling for? Huh? So what, what do you do for him then? You're paging him like it's an emergency, man. It's cool, man. He told me I could call you. How do you think I got his pager? He said that you would tell me it was everything that's happening, but he, you know, I just want to make sure everything's the same. He already told me. That way I'll tell him and I'll be straight after that. Is he making the drop or what? All right, so he is? Is he dropping it for you or are you giving it to him? You don't give out anything, you just pick up? Sweet. So then, so then he's gonna start making some money now, or what? Cause he's been broke. Are you gonna hook him up with some? All right. Hey, I just talked to your buddy Robert. What do you think he told me? He's waiting for you. So you're gonna start telling me what's going on, or what? Huh? I'll keep calling people. You got people calling in. That's probably him right now. So what's the deal, man? You gonna you gonna cough it up or what? Cough what up? Tell what me, me tell me what up? you're doing here. Tell me what you're doing here. Tell me what you're doing with the dope. Kind of words you want to put in my okay, mouth? I want to know if you if you're selling it. Are you selling it for the money? Are you selling it so he can break you off? For my own use. For my own use. There. So so he's cutting you a break. Cutting who a break? Like you basically you sell it and you keep whatever profits for yourself to use for yourself. I keep everything. Well, that doesn't sound right. I use it, I use it, that's it. Nobody get, let you have that for free, okay? You obviously have to throw some money back to the, their way, okay? And then he breaks you off a little something for your use, right? I stole it. You didn't steal that stuff, man. Why are you messing with me? You really want me to go, go the Juan route? I just told you, I, I do it to you, that's it. Well, you don't get it for free and you didn't steal it. Stop being so hardcore, man. I'm not impressed I'm not by that. I'm not being hardcore, you know what I mean? I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. You think you are. I'm not. No, I don't. Well, just be straight up with me, man. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm hardcore. I, I'd rather treat you like a man than I like am, a little I'm thug. I'm trying to be a, what do you mean a thug? I ain't no thug. Come well, you're on. thinking you're all hardcore right now. I guess so. Nope. You know better, you've been around. 
You know anywhere. how it works. You know how it works. This isn't the yeah, first time you're in the backseat of a car. You know how it works. I'm done with it. So basically, we know by confirmation by his friends that he's uh, dropping off drugs and selling to people, and his pagers is access from these people. Um, I was uh, born and raised uh, in the Santa Ana area, um, and I went away for school, and uh, I came back with the intentions of uh, becoming a police officer here. This was the first place I applied. I ended up uh, getting hired, so I was really happy about that. It's good to be back in uh, the community I grew up in. Right now, we're going to a robbery in progress. 334, I copied. Right now, we're going to a robbery in progress at a restaurant up the street. We have an officer that's on scene already, and we're waiting for updates from him. Hi, how's it going? Thanks for calling. I was at the window and we were doing the transaction. She was handing me the drinks and I went, I was talking to my son and I looked over. Who's this guy right here? This is my son here. Okay. Um, I looked over, I noticed um, the, the ga this gal here was uh, surprised at, a, at a, um, uh, a Hispanic male that was on the inside, and I thought it was a co-worker that just scared her, then I did a double take. Doing a great I realized from the look on her face that it, she didn't know the guy. And then I looked over and saw the other guy on the, on the uh, across the, the counter, uh, had a gun. Okay. okay. And I dropped it in drive and lit it. Okay, out. come up to the front with me real quick. I'm gonna have you uh, stand by and talk to this officer, okay? This is the guy I saw. This is the guy in the white. 334. 334. Both suspects are going to have blue baseball caps. Uh, number one's wearing a white t shirt and dark colored shorts, really baggy. And number two is wearing, uh, looks like a dark colored polo shirt. He's got a mustache. And actually, the gun is going to be a large caliber semi auto. Um, suspect with the white t-shirt was wearing gloves. You got a plate? Yeah. Well, some of the, the next uh, customer. We got a license plate on the vehicle, so we're going to go do a follow-up at the registered owner's address. The robbery that we just had, uh, we got a plate on the vehicle, and it turns out that it was just stolen. Basically, we just had our third uh, robbery by the same suspects. Sounds like at this robbery, a gun did go off. Unknown if anybody was hit. Three thirty-four. I'm ten ninety-seven. I'm gonna make contact. I see him inside. He should be walking out now. Yeah, I got him coming out. Hi. Everything okay? Yeah. They shoot one bullet here. Okay. 334. Uh, looks like one shot was fired. It's a 45 caliber semi auto. Yeah, but the bullet go through here. I was. Did it fall from. Oh, uh, no, it's just that the. You see the whole way there? Oh, it went in here. I thought it went in the ceiling. Uh, no, actually, we checked the camera and then we see okay. that. The guy was aiming inside here. Okay. Yeah, these this two guys right here. Looks like the suspects are walking in here, uh, trying to be casual. Okay, that's the guy that, uh, that's the guy with the gun. He tried to open uh, cash just by himself, but he can't. So he, he make he make the go open for him. There, right there is when he shoots. Yeah, maybe we're up here, yeah. We'll be right back, okay? Oh, okay. It's just stuck in your main in it, isn't it? We got one at gunpoint, we're uh, just south of Georgia, we're on the east side of the We got one at gunpoint right now. We got one suspect in custody. We got an additional officer in foot pursuit still. Orchard. 
This is our driver, probably. Right there, he yeah, is. Good job. 234. The guy that 336 has was not in the video, so there's at least three. 334. It's going to be uh, Mills Max mustache. Uh, he's got a blue hat. He's wearing a blue polo shirt. These guys are both 20 to 25. Gangster looking. Uh, gangster looking. Can you identify him from the photo, from the video? Um, yeah, I think so. Hang on, wait. Hey, we're 10 3. We got him right now. You still got one more, Dave? Yeah, we got one more. He came out of here. This was the truck described. Okay. We haven't been able to clear it yet, though. Okay. Hey, apparently, uh, this guy's a pro league, Al High, three okay. striker. The guy that we just took into custody, All right. he wants to show us where the gun is. Okay. Because he, he doesn't want a kid finding it. Absolutely. Let's do so it. So we'll let him clear because it was right here, right, where we took him into custody? Yes. Yeah, right underneath the car. Tell us first, or does he, he wants to show you? Basically, what happened is. Uh, one of the suspects that was apprehended is a uh, third striker, Cockroach Crowley. Is the same size as the gun. He wanted to let us know where the gun was, so a kid didn't get it. Um, we ended up finding bulletproof vests, the whole thing. Can you tell if that thing was fired? You did the right thing, man. Why did you decide to give up the gun? I got no comment. What's that? I don't know. It's on. Right, it's... Well, you did the right thing, man. It was a good thing a kid didn't get to grab a hold of that or anything. Thank you. All right, talk to you later. We ended up getting uh, two out of three suspects. We got the third suspect ID'd from one of the videos from one of the robberies. So it ended really well. I've always wanted to be a police officer. You know, I didn't get to get on the department until I was 27, so I'm getting kind of a late start. But uh, ever since I've gotten on, I've, I've loved it. It's a good bunch of people. Enjoy working the streets. Gets kind of wild down here sometimes. It makes it exciting, makes you want to come into work. You wonder, ain't nothing going over here to come a homeless problem at this building over here. The owner of the building is constantly calling about the homeless guys hanging out over here. What's going on? I don't know. Go ahead and put your hands on the car. Kick it out of your pocket. What you running for? Put your hands on the car. Who got a gun? They're behind the building now, man. Come here, have a seat in the car. <sighs> what do you look like? Turn off the short with blue shirt on. Okay. Gonna be behind that. Behind the supply next to the jail like motel, man with a gun. Let's see your hands. Let's see your hands. Put it down now. Put it down. Drop it. Drop it. Drop the gun now. Drop it. Step away. Step away. Step away from the gun. Put your hands up. Walk towards me. Listen to me. Come here. You had them worried about. Come here. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. <laughs> you like this. Relax. Relax. You keep your seat. Sit down. Sorry. You saw him? I killed a kid. That's what I should have done. He ain't shoot you, did he? No, hell no. Come here and have a seat. Have a seat for me. He ain't shoot you, did he? No, I ain't Eight ball don't play. Eight ball don't play. I'm Check glad him. You sitting up there begging for your life. Don't play with me. There's a gun right there, Skilly. It's over there. Ooh. I should have killed your ass. I should have killed him. You look, got the gun? Look what he did. I should have killed your black ass. That's what I should have did. Why you sitting up there begging for your life? I should have killed you. Quiet. 
I'm not. I should have. Ooh, I should have. If I knew all this was going to happen, I, I, I would have killed you. He ain't scared of why don't you quit talking? Hey, Why don't you quit talking? He, he beat me with a damn two by four. Shut your mouth, you best sir. Sir, I'm talking about some please. I ain't asked you please. I ain't say nothing about no please. Saturday morning, beat me with a damn two by four. Beat me. Look. Did you call the police in? No. Cause I, I know how to solve on the street. Damn quick. Hey, hey, what you for? This Right here. When? I'm trying to say, uh, I would, he, I, he, he, man, because that one said the two dollars. Whose car is that? Ooh, I should have killed him. Ooh, I should have killed him. Damn, I should have killed him. I'm mad at myself because I didn't kill him. Sam. Mm -hmm. Careful with Sam, it's hard plastic seat. Mm -hmm. Sit down! What's your name? Eight ball. Eight ball. What's your what's your real name, eight ball? Eight ball. Eight ball. Eight ball. I can't breathe. Can I breathe right quick? Breathe. Just, breathe away. Why you got? I can't breathe. I can't even say yes to him. You don't want to talk to me? Yeah. You want me to tell you uh, what, the what's, truth? What's going on? I want the look, truth. Look, look at my eyes. Look at okay. my eyes. I see your eyes. He, uh, I want to sell him no two dollar piece, so he. Comes in the house. I was. I had rented a place over here. You living oh, yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. It came in the house and uh, busted me all of a sudden. My head with a two by four. Okay. That's why I acted for me. Okay. What happened today? Did nothing happen today. I uh, I've been trying to run down on him and I found him ran in, into him. Did you pull the trigger? No, I didn't pull the trigger. I sure wanted to. Ooh, if you if one for y'all, that you would have been dead. Name is We're gonna take you down to Tech Division. Oh, yeah, You're gonna be charged with ag assault. Ooh. I right. thought I was gonna be charged with a, a homicide. I really thought that. I ain't worried about no assault. I really thought I was going back home to the penitentiary. But if you just let me home, yeah. If you just let me breathe for a second. Okay. Uh, penitentiary's home. Dude, saying y'all whooped on him over a two dollar rock. Find it hard to believe that. Dude's gonna come up here and pull a gun on you for just no reason. So I, I don't even know nothing about the cat. If I did, you know, said so I'll tell you about it. Only so say this is, I be up here every day. So say that he come up here threatening my life for something that I don't have no knowledge of. So say that if I owe him anything, I would go set out. I he pay mistaken you for someone well, else. I guess so, sir. But I ain't never did nothing to the brother. Oh man, I know hard to believe. Pulling gun on someone's pretty serious biz. So I just said, if I did it, they not tell me. Where's your other shoe? You've been arrested on drugs before? Yeah, back in 97, 98. What are you using? I use a little bit, not every day. All right, relax a little bit. We're going to run you down, get your statement on that side. We're going to run you down, get your statement. All right. It's going to be on a 22. I got two. That one's been struck. 461. Dude's says, lucky day. Yeah, sounds like it. Says he's a crip, knows how to handle street stuff. Looks like he, he looks like he, he popped. He looks like he tried it because that one's on the rim. Got hit. Dude's, he's, dude's he's lucky there's a misfire. Yeah. He didn't ever point it at you? Huh. No, no, it would have been lights out then. A good day for uh, Joe and I out here in Fontana. Be, uh, you know, taking a couple of the hardcore criminals off the street and uh, just making sure that the two of us get to go home at the end of the night. What we have on the phone is the victim, also the shooter. <laughs> right now we're getting preliminary uh, calls in. I uh, on the west side of Fontana. The initial call is a uh, person accidentally shot himself, but sounds to us like a gun battle has occurred. Uh, we're going to try and get there as fast and safe as we can and uh, find out what's going on.
Okay, looks like we have units on scene already. Uh, have no idea what's going on. They, they're calling for bolt cutters, possibly to force entry into the residence to make sure everybody's okay, and we're getting a point here. Three, Matt, we're 97. No. Negative. It's right here, Joe. This this whole yard, so be careful. Yeah, you don't know movement. I'm not seeing uh, any dogs. The back door of the house is open right now. We have the helicopter up watching the back for us, and looks like we're going to bust a lot. All right, three minutes. We're going to make entry into the yard. Forty King, if you can direct. Go slow. Got an open door over here. Watch the blood, Joe. Here we do have blood here. Looks like we do have one victim here. Anybody else in the house? No. What happened to you? Who shot, shot you? Now. I yeah. shot myself. It's laying around here somewhere. I don't know where I like that. I don't think it's laying right, right around here somewhere. I laid down somewhere. Where are you shot at? Right here. Was anybody else here with you? Yeah, there was another guy here. He's a friend of mine, was a friend of mine. He mm -hmm. claims I want money, and I don't. So he came to the gate, and then, and then I went out the gate, and then he climbed over the gate, and he started throwing at me. So I bossed him all the way back to the house and all, and I had the gun laying in laying in there on the table. And I went in and got the gun, and I held back towards the door, and he threw that thing at me. What kind of gun was used to shoot you? 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum. Was he at the back door? Yeah, I turned around to get the gun. He was at the back door. And I cocked it, and he threw that when I clinched, and when I did, the gun went off. OK, right. he didn't shoot you, right? No, he didn't shoot me. And you were just going to have the gun to scare him? Yeah. Uh, apparently got into a fight with a, some uh, old-time friend of his. We don't know why. And uh, during the fight, uh, things got out of hand. Looks like the friend threw some sort of trailer ball at him. And this guy in turn tried to defend himself, pulled out a gun. Gun accidentally went off, shot him through the leg. Uh, right now, we're going to try and make uh, contact with the second half that's involved in this uh, altercation. See, supposedly he has some injuries. We're going to. Um, Try and find out what type of injuries ha he has, how they, how he sustained them, and uh, get his side of the story. You see your. Uh, you pulled out on, uh, you right. What'd you do? Get hit in the face with a pipe? I think it was a steel bar. Okay. Over here down the street, what, what you guys have a little uh, argument over something? A thousand dollars. Oh really? Is he a friend of yours? Yeah, he was. He was my business partner. Okay. He decided he wasn't going to pay me for did it. Did you see him pull a gun out? Yes, I did. What happened? He pulled it out, pointed at me, and told me I'll kill you. OK. He put it, went to come down like that, and the gun went off, and I took off running. OK. After he fired the gun, you took off running. What would you do? You just ran out to your car and ran, took off? Ran out, and I was leaving, and that highway patrol officer was driving down the street, uh -huh. and I flagged him down. Did you shut the gate after yeah. you left? Yeah. You shut it and locked yeah, it? Locked it. Why'd you do that? That's, it's just a natural thing I do every time I leave this house. No? No. What? How come your son is telling us different that you jumped the fence? You don't want to get your son oh, involved in I this. Maybe I did jump the fence coming okay, over. Okay, then just be On truthful side, with coming us. Coming over, yeah. I guess I did. I was, I don't know, so after who, I was who ended, up, who ended up locking the gate and closing it? He, no. No, you know what? It was never yeah. opened. Maybe it wasn't even opened. OK. Maybe I jumped over that fence. OK, that sounds and good. And talked to him. Yeah. So he never? Yeah, no, I, I jumped over that fence. No problem. Are you going to go and get your own medical attention? Yeah, yeah. Will they say you're going to need some stitches? No, they didn't really say. They said I probably should look, Might have a little looked stitches. at it. Hey, what's your first name? Greg. Greg, after everything's said and done here, you think you, this was all worth it, over $1,000? No, sir, probably not. OK, I don't probably think not. so either. But what do you do in a situation like that? Resolve things I tr differently. I've tried. I've tried. Go to I've civil court, to man. That's what the courts are for. There's no paperwork on none of this stuff, uh, you know? See, you got There's no paperwork on our business. When I you, had to eat that. When you There's get no into business with a friend, sometimes this is the outcome. I know, One person I ends up not now. happy, and then. I realize this now, but. I know what you're saying. 
I use it at work. Razor knife? It's just for work. Okay. Box cutter. I can ship it and receive it. Okay. Okay. Well, make sure you get your medical treatment, all right? Okay. All right, man. This guy's saying that uh, the guy that was transported pointed the gun at him and told him, I'm going to kill you. And that was before all of the incident with the trailer ball and stuff? Uh, simultaneously Probably in the kitchen area. So we're going to charge both subjects with assault with a deadly weapon. We're going to turn this report over to the DA's office. Tonight we're going to be serving a warrant over on Eisenhower. It's a location we hit about three weeks ago. Uh, we're going to have uh, Officer Hall here give us a briefing that gives us the details on this particular warrant. Mr. Hall. All right, guys, we're going to be doing a, a warrant on Eisenhower. This is for crack. Okay, we made uh, a couple buys from this location. The suspect is a black male, 30 to 35 years of age, 6 foot 250, light complexion. Sergeant. All right, everyone, once we're geared up, let's load up in the van and let's get moving. Okay, guys, let's go. Hopefully there's nobody up front. We're going to be able to get up to the door and get inside before they even know we're there. We're going to try to do a stealth approach. Hopefully there'll be no one in the front yard. We'll be able to get up close and, and get inside before they have a chance to destroy the evidence or arm themselves or anything like this. All right, we got some cars in the truck, guys. Let's go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Police search warrant. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Police. Police search warrant. Don't move. Go, sir. Somebody get the kitchen. There's someone in the kitchen. Somebody get the kitchen. The door is closed. Keep going. Let's keep moving. That's not bogged down. Please, please. Don't put your hand under your body. I'm not. I'm not. Give me your hand. Give me your other hand. Okay, sir. We clear this room over here. Yeah, they just came out of it. All right. You got more back here. How are we looking? We got the kitchen clear. Kitchen's clear. Back room's clear. Yeah, we got two in custody back here. Two All right. in back. Yeah, All right, let's call the house secure. Go ahead and call on the perimeter. You have to pull your leg out of your body. Sit up. Ready? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Come on, man. Yeah. Ooh. What are they doing, sound out the window, it looks like? Yeah, they got a couple of rocks right here on the ground. There's a rock there on the floor. Yeah, there's one on the rocks, floor and one up here. Rocks. One there, one here. Yeah. Get outside perimeter to look out here. Yeah, it looks like they're selling out the window right here. They've got an opening on the window. We got yeah. some out there, too? Oh, yeah, they threw a butt at it. Look at that. They throw good, but all those little white pebbles on the ground, that's correct. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Pill ball they threw out opened up and there's a bunch. Well, there sure is a lot of crack rocks oh. out there. I'm gonna go ahead and start gathering the evidence. Probably a good 30, 20 or 30 rocks. These two guys are the ones in the back bedroom, right? You're in that back bedroom? Huh? You're in that bedroom back over there? Yeah, who else was back there with you? Three. Who? Three looking at TV. That guy right there? Nah. Okay. Who's selling the drugs here, man? No one. No one's selling drugs? No. How come there's crack back there? No one's selling dope. No one's selling dope? Are you using the crack? You don't use crack? No. You don't know nobody uses crack? No. Okay. How about you, man? What are you doing here? You selling drugs here? No, sir. Who's selling the drugs here? Nobody I know. I'm sorry? Nobody I know of. Nobody knows? How come all that crack's back in that bedroom? You know how that got there? No. Okay, guys. It's $547 in cash in all different denominations. It's consistent with the illegal sales of narcotics. This is located on the suspect that was, that was listed match the description in the warrant, okay? What is that, mainly fives, tens, and twenties? Right. Yeah, we don't have anything bigger than a 20? No, nothing bigger okay. than a 20. A couple of ones, too, I see. Um, this is the evidence that was thrown by the suspect, which was seen by one of the officers, by the suspect who also had the, the money. money on him. All right. And this is more crack cocaine that was uh, found directly next to one of our other suspects in his care, custody, and control. So that will be linked to him. Okay, Miss. Well, what happened was we ran a warrant here about three weeks ago, mm -hmm. and we got about 40 grams of crack cocaine out of here. And then about a week later, we come back by, and they're still selling the product out of your house. 
Who's so we, doing that? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. Yeah, I've talked to your mom about what, what, what's going on out of this house. I was drinking beer and watching a ball game. That's all I was doing. You got on cuffs? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And this is the second time they done did this here to You know? And they didn't see it, they didn't found this and, and found that. No, I, we can, I, where's the evidence? You want to show them the evidence? Have, I, I don't have any idea whether they found anything or not. But so they say they did, so I trust them okay. on that. That's the crack we got out of your house right there, Keith. You, you see all see that? All oh, that, I can just stop having to come to come on. And that's, that's why we're here. That's, you know, because we can't have people selling crack out here in the neighborhood. I can't either. I mean, you know, people got to live I'm here not, raise their... I'm not into oh, that. I understand completely, ma'am. I'm just saying... I'm a church that, woman. That... I just got out of church. I go to church and I play the piano. Right. Ever since I was nine years old, I've been playing for, for the church. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is, is that I guess Rufus's friends are coming over here and, and, and committing crimes in your house by selling crack out that window. Your son Rufus, we think he's mixed up in all this, all right? So you need to make sure that uh, you put your foot down and take control of the house, okay? Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Good job, guys. I just want to say good job. The warrant went smooth. Got out of the van good. We were quiet. They didn't even know we were there when we hit the door. We got in the house quick, secured it. We didn't have any problems. Everybody did what they needed to do. That was a good job. Good work. Good job, guys. Yeah, I've been a full-time deputy now for eight years. I worked at the uh, post office as a letter carrier. Some of the guys I worked with there were uh, part-time policemen. I had the opportunity to ride with them, and I kind of got hooked on the job. Uh, I was a special deputy for three and a half years, and I had the opportunity to take the uh, test for the road patrol, and um, I've been full-time now since um, 96. Uh, we got a fight call right down the street here. We're going to head down there and see what's going on. Top 41, we're 27. 41 is 27. Then Robert 23. Group of eight male white teens ordering and consuming alcohol. 23, okay. Hi, Robert 39. Just back at my unit. I'll get it well finished here. Nine, Tom 41. I've got a vehicle going through the yard here at 4798. Uh, stand by. It's about to get a stop. What's up, man? What are you doing driving around out here in the grass? Do me a favor. Why don't you come out of the car there for me? Do me a favor, why don't you stay in the car? You, you can stay in the car for the time being. I'm going to talk to this gentleman. There we go. All right. How old are you? 19. 19? Yeah. All right. Come on back here. Tell me what you know about what's what's going on and why we're down here. I don't know, man. I just, they was arguing, and I pulled up and said, who, who, Who's they? Uh, Pete and his cousin. They was just arguing, man. Pete live here? Yeah. OK. And his cousin? Yep. All right. So I, I'm, I'm, I was just getting out of here. Okay. So none of this involves any of these people in the car? No. All right, where'd, where'd Pete and his cousin go? I have no idea. I, I think everybody left after they argued. One guy went one way, one guy went the other way. All right. Why don't you hang tight for me for a second, okay? All right. Do me a favor, Mike. All right, Sean, do me a favor. Get, yeah, get all these folks information. I'm going to go across the street and talk to the complainant over here, okay? Step on over here. What's your name, partner? John. John? Yes. What's going on? I was over there, we having a party. Okay. And I, I apparently got in an argument or with one of my cousin's buddies. The next thing he knows, he comes over and jumps in my ass. I said, what? I was like, I don't have no problem with Bobby. Um, Bobby, he goes, okay. you know, you're trying to cause trouble, blah, blah. And it's my cousin, man. I've known him. All right. Actually, I think I know you too, so. Yeah, you know who I am. And is like, one of these guys in this car over here? Not in the car. All I know is the driver, he's not in it. All right. So who's this, who's this guy that, that you were fighting with? My cousin, Pete. Pete? What's, where's Pete live? I don't live? want to press charges. I just, okay, where's Pete he's live? He's mad at me right there. Pete lives right there? Yeah, but I, I don't want to get in trouble. I just want, I didn't want to go over there and party with him and get beat up again. All right. So what's this thing all over? He, me and, me and I guess his buddy apparently got in an argument or something. I don't even know. And then he comes over all drunk. You and his, and you and his buddy got in an argument. And you don't remember man. arguing with the guy? No. I don't have that clue. And he, Pete comes over to me and goes, "You got a problem with my buddy?" Wow. <laughs> and he watched me right in the eye. And I said, "What?" And you know. And then I was like, "Yes." So I was like, "Pete, what's your deal?" You know, I'm like, you're my cousin. Why are we fighting? Right, right, you're my cousin. And then he came right, after me again, and I attacked with him, I'll and I punched him. All right. You need a life squad? No, I don't. Huh? No, it's just a little tooth mark. Uh, a tooth mark? Yeah, that's all that is. All right. 
How old are you? I'm 21. You want right, an ID? You, yeah. It's it's over in the yard in my other pants because I went swimming. All right. Why don't you I'm walk on over? Go over there. Walk on over here. We're here. You're gonna be all right. Walk on over here. We're gonna figure out what's going just, on. All right. Just make sure that I, you told him. Do me a favor, just for the time being, John. Yes. Just have a seat in the car there for me. Okay. Am I in trouble? Nope. Not at this point. Okay. I need to get my pants for you. We'll get all that, man. Don't worry about it. They should be over on the left side by the corner. Right. What, what's going on with this guy driving through the yard? I, well, he just parked there because there wasn't no parking spot. Okay. All, units. all right, and that's part of Pete's property. Yes. All right. Oh, actually, I think it might be, but we use it. We cut it. Everything. All right. They don't have a problem with you guys being out no, there. No. All right. Time 41. If you're checking up on us, we're fine. I'm going to go in here and see if I can make contact with the other guy. Looks like he's got his teeth imprints on his uh, his David knuckles. 32, David, 30, so we're going to see if we can find out where he's at. Apparently, he lives here. Hey, Pete. Are you Pete? Step on out of here, man. What's going on, man? No, my cousin come down here. My mom don't like him down here too often. He come down here and... You guys all sitting around here drinking? Is that what you're doing? Just sitting around playing horses, corn Okay. What happened between the two of you? Uh, he got drunk and then started running his mouth to my friends, and I was like, dude, okay. you know, don't, uh, this is my party. My mom don't want you here anyways. And so he... He what? He just came down and started in his mouth, and that's when me and him got into it. Okay. Did you hit him? No, we both hit him. Okay, well, I mean, I want you to be honest. Did you hit him? Yeah, I hit him. Okay. He, hit he said, he, yeah, he, still, he tells me that. Yeah, we both, I mean, we yeah. both went at it. That's what honestly. it sounds like. But my mom don't want him down here, and uh, I gotta respect my mom's this is rules. Your, this is your cousin, right? Right, that's my okay. full-blooded cousin. Well, right. I mean, this is the first time we've ever been in a fight. But. All right, just sit tight for me for a second, okay? All right, you wanna file charge against him for assaulting you? No, that's my cousin, I don't wanna do that, no. All right, he don't no. wanna file charge against you either? No, we're, co we're blood cousins, no, I don't wanna do that at all. It was just something that just happened and- All right, where'd all this happen, back here? Yeah, just right behind my house, right there by the cornholes. Just stand right there for me, okay? All right, here, here's the deal, okay? Yes, sir. I talked to him. He's the same, he feels the same way as you do, okay? This is just a, a, a scrap between two guys. Yes. That, that, you know, unfortunately been probably had a little too much to drink tonight. Correct. Okay? Um, we just want to make sure that if we leave tonight that you guys aren't going to go at it, okay? If right. you can stay here and I can shake his hand and give him a hug, I'll do that, and then we can have party on. All right, I think he'll be agreeable to that. All right, that'll you be fine. Yeah, we're gonna we stay here that. once you get on out. If you do that and let us do that, I'll party yep. on. I think I think that's all he wants too, man. I'll party on with him. All right. Hey, it's part of life. We're cousins, man. I love you to death. You know it. Hey, it happened. Hey, it, happened. it ain't the first time. <laughs> it all right. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry, man. All right. I mean, no, no offense, but. You guys don't know where you're hey, You got blood on you. Could have wiped your hands on no, your face and that. You know what I mean? All right. Thank Sorry you. this Thank time, you guys. you guys. All right. Good luck, fellas. This is a kind of a regular thing out here. Probably end up being back here later tonight. Well, anytime you get a shots fired call, you want to be more cautious. Just from the call, shots fired, you know that somebody on the scene there has a weapon. Whether they're going to use it against you or an innocent person, you don't know. So you always got to be more on your toes and ready for anything to happen. Got a vehicle rolling out over here and uh, driving around. Got a brake light out. Vehicle retro's out of the city, uh, surrounding cities. Possibly over here trying to buy some dope. I'm gonna try to get a traffic stop on it for a violation. For your insurance? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Well, I'm telling you, where is it? You got your driver's license on you? Yeah. Is your address and everything correct on your driver's license? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. You live on uh, Tallow? Yeah, that's where my dad lives. Where do you live? I just frequently moved to Arlington. We're at in Arlington. Off Park Springs. What are you doing over here tonight? I was just looking for a homeboy. What's his name? JJ's all I know him as. So what are you doing over here looking for JJ? Just to hang out, go drink. Or How you know? I met him from coming over here one day through pool where I work. Go ahead. Talk to him for a minute. Check his mouth. He might have it in his mouth. You ever been a wrestler, man? For what? Being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Why don't you go and step out of the car for me, okay? Okay, to verify you said a white headband, six one thirty five, a red, white, blue shirt, and black pants. Anything on you? No, you have a problem me patting you down? Uh, on his name, Jesse. You ever been arrested before? Yes, sir. For what? Possession. Possession of what? Marijuana. Marijuana? How long ago was that? When I was 18. No. Turn around and look at me. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't swallow it. Open your mouth. Already Open your seen mouth. It. Open your mouth. It's a blue right bag. There. I got it. I saw it when he was talking to me. Yep. Turn around, Kevin. More units, 10 four. Say what? I'll be patient, man. Damn. What else you got in your mouth? You ain't gotta be so violent. Burn me with a cigarette. Here. Yeah, I got him. Anybody close over here, Virginia? We need a car. Spit all over me. Burn me with a cigarette. Hey, <coughs> burn me with a cigarette. Yeah, but ask me. Oh, if you, that's why you were chewing on it. The whole time we were talking to you? I've been chewing on it. It's I know. It's a baggie. No, it's mm -hmm. not just a baggie. It's got powder in it. Look at that. And you think you just bought a baggie? It's got powder in it. I didn't buy that. You did? Oh, you didn't? No. Just jumped in your mouth and you're driving down the street? Yeah, they gave it to me for free. Ah. So that's why you're over here to see JJ, huh? No, I come to see JJ to see if he could fix my car. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm an honest person. You don't have any needles or anything like that? Do you shoot it or snort it? I was just chewing the baggie, man. He gave it to me and I was just George chewing it. Yeah, but he wouldn't give it to you unless you used it. Can I ask one favor? What's that? Do you mind if I have one cigarette before I go in? No, come on. No. What, so you can burn me again? So what are y'all arresting me for? Possession control substance, penalty group one. Of what? Cocaine. Of how much? Uh -huh. We gotta weigh it. <laughs> yeah, 32, 24. Yeah, loosen these up, please. They're Just plenty loose, man. Have a seat. Them. Just sit in there sideways. Take up the whole back sideways. seat. Sit in Sitting there sideways, man. All right. I was talking to him long enough. I guess he forgot it was there. And when I was talking to him, he opened his mouth to say something, he had that blue bag sticking right down there on the bottom of his tongue. So yeah. I knew it was in his mouth. That's why I called you up here. Well, that's why when I was going back to do 29 on him, I, I told you, check his mouth. I, saw, I thought I saw it in the corner. Yeah, he was keeping it over there, and, and I guess he, was, he forgot. He talking like this, trying to not blow his teeth. It looked like he had a, <laughs> a pinch of tobacco in or something. I guess yeah. he forgot talking to me, and it slipped down up under his tongue. Yeah. And he kind of opened his mouth for a second. I saw that bright blue bag sitting down there. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. What do you mean you weren't doing anything wrong? You had cocaine in your mouth. That's well, wrong. I know that, but I'm saying, I just came to see an old friend and that was it and then leave. And chew on some coke while you're driving around? It was just in my mouth. You were chewing on it? Yes, sir, I was. Okay. It was given to me. I wasn't just going to throw it out on the street. Why? Just chew it up. Because there's kids around, man. Oh, okay, so. You know what I mean? Okay. At least you're concerned about the kids. You just eat it and go on about my day because it ain't going to do nothing to me. It's not. So you're saying you're immune to, the, to yes. what Coke does to everybody else? It doesn't affect you? No, sir. No? OK. 
Okay. Well, for the fact that when I started when I was 15. And you're 22 now? Yes, sir. So you've been using for seven years? No, sir. I started at like 15, 15 and a half, 16. I was doing like two eight balls to a 16th a day. I didn't do nothing. It made me go to sleep. 22, I just quit. I got out of jail like 20. And for then till now, I've been straight until tonight. Right now, you're being charged with possession of controlled substance, cocaine. It'll probably be under one gram. You've right. been charged with that before, so you know the deal on that, right? So what's going to happen on that? Well, you'll be taken down to the jail tonight, looked in. You'll be arraigned tonight in front of a judge. I'll let you know how much it takes to get out. Okay? Appreciate it. Yep. Sorry about the That's all right. Part of our job.